Hey everyone, this is Chris Dunkel. I want to show you how you can import your own images and music and things of that nature in your footage, as well as a cool new feature that we video added uh, a few months ago. And in some of my other tutorials, you will not see the star tab, but this is the new tab that they added called the Essentials Library. And what's awesome with this is WeVideo has already integrated, I think it's somewhere around 65,000 or so videos and images and such already into WeVideo that's copyright free students can use. So for instance, if your students are doing something about a na uh, national park or I'm just going to type park in general, but um, you know, I, I type that here and you'll notice I've got like tulips in the park and this is a video clip. Um, and some of these are video clips you, know, you can type in river you can type in space you're doing a science project and there's you know space warp and earth and space spinning around uh, and then some will be pictures and things like that you'll notice in the search box there's a pull down menu and you can filter by category so if you strictly only want images you know pictures instead of video uh, these will be static images uh, you can actually do audio as well. And there's actually a few audio clips that are here. So this is a great feature because a lot of things are already in WeVideo. So you don't have to upload anything. But oftentimes you'll have your own images or footage that you've shot on video or things like that. So in order to do that, uh, when you're in your, um, your video edit, there's another tab here called Media. And you have a little cloud, a green cloud with an up arrow that says import media. And this is the easiest way probably to do it, uh, but you can come in here to import media. And if you have access to any of these social sites and you have clips on there like Dropbox or Facebook or things like that, you can import directly from them. Uh, but in typical fashion, you're gonna have something on your hard drive uh, that you need to get up. So you just simply uh, drag and drop it or you can click browse to select. Uh, so here's uh, Jack Black and Elmo in the green screen right here. And so you just select it, it will upload it. Uh, sometimes it'll take it a few seconds for it to get fully uploaded and you'll see the little bar moving at the bottom, but you can actually still go ahead and use it. So I could pop in Jack Black here with Elmo. Uh, but the same holds true for audio clips. If you have WMA files or MP3 files, things like that, you can just simply go here go find what you have and upload it. I'm not sure if that, I do have some stuff here, but I could upload those kind of things into it. Uh, one other way that you can upload media as well is under the media tab. And again, if you're in the Canvas shell at the current time, you're not seeing that top level navigation. So you would need to open a new tab to get there. But if you go to the media tab, I'm gonna not save that. This shows you all the different media that has been uploaded uh, and you can create folders here uh, to uh, keep everything organized. If you'd like, I haven't organized that well um, lately, but if you come to the plus symbol, you'll see this little cloud again and you just click it and do it that way. So they'll put it in your main media folder. So either way works, uh, very simple to get, your, to get your work up there. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.